Kanino nga ba tayo dapat magpa-survey? At anong klasing survey ang dapat ipapagawa natin? At magkano nga ba yung bayad natin kung tayo ay magpapa-survey ng ating lupa? Ano yung mga requirements na dapat nating ibigay doon sa magsa-survey ng ating lupa? At ano-ano yung mga dapat nating i-expect na ibigay nila sa atin after tayong magpa-survey sa kanila? So these are only few of the questions that we're going to answer here in this episode. Hey guys, by the way, I'm Junior Benz and welcome sa aking YouTube channel. This channel creates video tutorial and construction related videos. And in this episode, we have video tutorial coming up. So disclaimer lang guys, I'll be sharing with you these rates, but I'm referring to NCR, NCR rates from 2009 to 2010 na rates, itong reference natin ngayon. Well, sabihin na lang natin na maybe there will be some small changes from these prices, but for sure, hindi naman siguro sobrang laki ng difference niya. So let's just use this one as our reference and then we will have that idea kung magkano nga pa yun talagang gagastusin natin if ever na we are planning na magpa-survey ng ating mga property. So, I am holding now this Genetic Engineers of the Philippines from the National Capital Region. So, pag sabihin natin National Capital Region, so we are actually talking about Caloocan, Malabon, Navota, so Tagig, Makati, yun mga na nasa National Capital Region. So, ngayon, we will be, I will be sharing with you this relocation survey rate. So actually, marami tayo dito mga ano, marami tayo dito sizes in hectares. But I will discuss it very detailed sa ating mga members. So I will be only picking some of the common sizes or yung mga talagang nagagamit natin na mga sizes sa vlog na to. So let's start with um, actually pag sabihin natin 1 hectare, 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters. So dito next start is 0.5 hectare. So we're talking about 5,000 square meters. Ang rate niya is 15,000 pesos yung babayaran natin for relocation survey. Kasi magkaiba yung rate ng original survey tsaka iba yung rate ng pre-survey. What I mean now for this 15,000 is relocation survey. So relocation survey for 0.5 hectares is 15,000. Then 0.5 to 1 hectare is equal to 18,000 pesos. And then 2 hectares is equal to 24,000 pesos. 3 hectares, 30,000 pesos. 4 hectares, 38,400. 5 hectares, 44,400. And then 6, 7, 8, 9. Meron tayong rates nito. You can actually check out sa ating members only uh, video. And then 10 hectares is equal to 74,000 pesos ang 10 hectares. So, 11 is around 78,000 pesos, 12, 81,000, 13, 83,000, then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that will cost you around 110, 400,000 pesos. Uh, meron tayo sa matrix na to until uh, 70. And then, after 70, uh, ninote dito na area in excess of 70 hectares, add 3,000 per hectare. So, mag-exceed ka ng 70,000, like 71,000, 72, 73. Mag-add ka na lang doon sa mga exceeding na hectares, 3,000 per hectare. So, yun yung ating rate for relocation survey. Now, the same rate noon sa minensyon natin for relocation, if ang kinandak nila ng mga survey is original survey and resurvey, ang rate niya dito is for original and resurvey, we will add 50% of the above cost yung sa minensyon natin sa relocation survey. Say for example, meron tayo dito for 1 hectare is equal to 18,000 pesos. So if original or resurvey yung ginagawa nila, then we will add 50% of that 18,000. So we will add 9,000 from uh, 18, 18,000 18, plus 9,000 if original and resurvey because the relocation is 18,000. So yun yung relocation survey. Now we will share with you, I will share with you also kasi most 
pinaka-common sa mga ginagawa nila is relocation and subdivision survey. Sa subdivision survey, meron din kasi ako ditong uh, isi-share ko din sa inyo yung uh, shared by my friend na ginamit nila actually ngayon kasi nagsisurvey na siya sa Cebu-based. Kasi magkaiba yung rate nila eh. Ngayon, let's, let's talk about first this subdivision survey for in CR. Again, this is 2010 ha, na rates ang meron akong reference dito. Kung yung sa subdivision from the number of lots, kung meron kang area na hahatiin mo for 2, 2 to 4, so ang charge mo is 20,000. But take note na ang division niya, excess, ng, uh, excess of 2, we will add 8,500 per Lot. So, meron kang 2 to 4 yan na rate. 20,000 plus. Kung mag-excess mag siya ng 2 lots. So, we will add 8,500 per lot. Yun ang i-add natin sa 20,000. Ngayon, let's have 5 to 9 number of lots. Ang division niya is, yung first, uh, yung charge natin is 45,500. And then, in excess of 5, we will add top up 7,000 per lot. Then, sa 10 to 19, uh, 80,500 and then excess of 10 lots we will add 5,000 per lot. 20 to 29 number of lots or number of divisions then 120,500 excess of 20 we will add uh, 4,800 per lot. So I will discuss with you I have here in reference 40 to 49, 50 to 99, 100 to 199 until 1,000 number of lots ang meron tayo dito as reference. So I will be discussing this in detail sa mga members only. Now if you are interested in that I will, you can actually join the membership because I will be discussing all those detailed calculation para uh, meron tayong idea ha? meron tayong idea na magkano ang magagastos natin for our survey so that i that is for in CR ngayon I will be sharing with you the one being shared with my friend sa Cebu siya ang sabi dito sa ano nila is all fees listed below excludes the 12% VAT so walang kasi hindi kasali yung VAT nila dito and meron ding miscellaneous expenses for the technical data research of records map and documents at the DNR Regional Office number 7. So, kung meron ka pang mga documents na hindi mo ibigay sa kanila, so hindi kasali dito sa payment na to. Now, let's talk about the uh, subdivision or the consolidation subdivision survey dito sa kanilang rate. Actually, ginagamit nila ito ngayon. Pero, naka-base to sa Visayas. Ito yung rate nila na, na ginagamit. Kung ang ano, subdivided into 2 to 5 number of lots, kung residential area siya, so 10,000 per lots ang charge nila. If agriculture, that is 12,000 yung charge nila. And then number of lots, 6 to 10 na uh, resultant lots. So yung charge nila is 9,000 per lots and then that is for residential and agricultural and then for agricultural is 11,000 pesos. So we have here 11 to 20, 21 to 30, until 50 and above. So meron silang mga charges niyan. Actually, pag marami na yung division ng lot, mamumura na yung per uh, lot charge niya. Dahil nga na, na parami yung number of lots na pag-divide niya. So ngayon, I will share with you with this relocation survey. Dito ito sa sa kanilang rate. Yung residential lots, 10,000 pesos per sublot of 4 corners minimum charge. So, 10,000 yung for 4 corners and then and then in excess of 4 corners, we will add uh, 1,000 pesos per corner. Yun yung uh, relocation survey nila for residential lots. Pero sa agricultural is, we will start with 25,000 uh, for first one hectare, that is the minimum charge, and then or we will add 10,000 for every additional hectares or fraction thereof. So after ng minimum na charge for 25,000, exist to that, kung meron kang mga, so more than one hectare, then magcha charge tayo ng additional 10,000 pesos per hectare na for relocation survey. So actually, I will discuss also, if you are interested, I will be discussing also this ano, type of uh, 
charges. Meron kasi sila ditong if memorial park survey, if original survey, uh, resurvey or conversion. Meron din ditong original survey, advanced special plan for mga special patent purpose. So, I will be discussing all those in detail sa ating member for members channel only. Again, that's based on 2010 uh, 2000 and 2010 for NCR. And then this for Visayas or it is yun yung ginamit nila ngayon. And then ipapractice yung genetic engineer na friend ko sa Visayas. So, particularly nasa Cebu siya. Just this one is for reference only ha so i guess that's it for this vlog i hope that you learned something out from this video and if you do please do consider subscribing my channel tap the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever na meron tayong mga bagong or latest upload na upload sa ating channel so that's it for this vlog have a great day and god bless guys bye